New business openings in the metro Philadelphia area jumped by 52% over the past four years, but restaurants, they tumbled by 3% according to Yelp. And we're going to explain exactly what this means here in a second. If you like what you hear, you learn something from what we're going to talk about in the greater Philadelphia area, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. And if you want to schedule a call with our team about how this might impact you and your real estate needs, click on the link in the comments. So this is some really interesting data from Axios Philadelphia. It's a great website to get some information. We're going to share the graph on this because obviously when you look at new business openings jumping by 52% and restaurants tumbling by 3%, and these are just listings on Yelp. So obviously not everyone's going to be on Yelp. This shows that the Philadelphia economy is booming right now when people are opening businesses because that means they've got cash they're investing in the local infrastructure, and we've actually seen restaurants bounce back very closely to 2019 levels. So what we're seeing here is that all businesses, according to Yelp, from 2019, obviously there was a dip in 2020. That happened to everybody. A lot of people had to close their doors thanks to the horrible management in the state of Pennsylvania of businesses and how to do things. Luckily, we're past that now. Very grateful for that. All that in mind, we've seen business openings and restaurants really jump up since then. The reality is restaurants have a very high failure rate, just like real estate. So we're going to see that industry take a little longer because they were the most restricted, in my view, having to have people eat outside, dealing with some of the regulations with the city of Philadelphia, having to close down those outside eateries, limited capacity, all those things. Restaurants and bars and those sort of businesses are gathering places. And that was a challenge until regulations eased up. Now we're seeing restaurants start to come back. So despite the slowdown in openings, metro Philadelphia area, and this is Jersey, the Philadelphia suburbs, Chester, Delaware, Montgomery, Bucks County, even parts of Delaware, they were on a tear last year and they jumped up pretty substantially from being down almost 17% from the 2019 levels, now we're only down 3.4%. So that's really good news. And there's a lot of places that were on like the best of lists on Eater and the New York Times. And all that means is that the economy is booming right now. And what we're seeing is the job market's really strong. This is a great indicator because people spend disposable income at restaurants. So all of the sudden, the job market's strong here. We've got more businesses opening up, which means that Home values are going to continue to go up, which means that it's still going to be a competitive market, which is demonstrated by days on market being less than where we were in 2019. That shows how strong demand is. And when there's a job market like this, people want to get into a home that's going to be a fit for them. Even with elevated rates, although rates have come down into the low 6% range, we're still seeing a ton of demand because of all these business openings. And if you look at the numbers and, and kind of zoom out a little bit here, 13,254 local businesses were newly listed on Yelp in 2023. That number was 8,715 in 2019. So that's a big jump. I mean, you're talking about a delta here of close to 5,000 new businesses that opened in 2023 versus 2019. And if you zoom out a little bit, Pennsylvania saw 12.9 New restaurants listed on Yelp per 100,000 people, right? So that's, a, that's almost a 13 to 100,000 ratio. And the 1,672 new restaurant listings statewide was a 12.4% jump from 2022. So we can see that jump was, was, was pretty substantial there. So the big picture, nationally, we've seen the restaurant industry start to show signs of life after a brutal stretch because of the pandemic. Nearly 54,000, 53,800 to be exact, opened their doors across the country, which was up 10% from 2022 and 2% from 2019. So there's been a slight increase. This is good news because restaurants tend to build local communities. When restaurants open up, more people want to move there. It encourages more demand for housing. People want to be in those downtown areas, especially in suburban markets, which we've got a ton of here. Check out our most walkable suburban towns in a past episode on the Living in Philly channel. That'll give you an idea of some of those spots where you see a lot of that happening. Specifically, the Pennsylvania Restaurant and Lodging Association tells Axios that 2023 was still a recovery year. And 
for those restaurants learning to navigate post-pandemic, which is a little different. And we're seeing a total rebound now. The pandemic's over. People have figured out the equation, and they're anticipating even a bigger explosion of new restaurants this year. So what does this mean? We're seeing a return to normalcy. We're seeing that the market's normalizing along with restaurant openings. We're seeing that people are now all of the sudden going back out, taking advantage of these local businesses. And when the local businesses are strong, that's going to create more people buying properties. It's going to create more residential development, especially in neighborhoods in Philadelphia or some of these downtown areas where they have these big vacant pieces of land and they're building mixed use now. They're building rental properties. So we're going to see more and more development happen when the commercial investment happens. All of this makes me very bullish on the greater Philadelphia as a whole, Chester County, Delaware County, Montgomery County, the main line, Bucks, Jersey, Delaware, all of it. We're in the fifth largest metro market in the country. And the more people that open businesses, the more people that will move in. And the more people that move in means that it's better for home values. And you should think about getting in now versus waiting. All this stuff matters and it interlocks with the real estate industry in a big way.